The first video game. The history of the first video game is complicated. To know where we are going, we must first discover where we have been. This is just as true for video games as it is any other professional file. Fortunately, the video game industry has an incredibly rich and interesting past that can teach us a lot. What is considered a video game? Some would argue that the verb play needs to be included in any interpretation of video games. After all, we are talking about a game. However, many modern definitions take into consideration video games can also be viewed as an art form, used to convey a message interactively. This is the foundation of what is used to define the first ever created video game in its purest sense. Today, the definition of a video game is much more encompassing. What was the first video game? According to some, the first video game ever created was Birdie the Brain, constructed in 1950 by an inventor named Joseph Cades. This massive monstrosity of a machine, which measured 4 meters tall, played a familiar childhood game known as Tic-Tac-Toe and was displayed in the Canadian National Exhibition. For weeks, visitors to the Canadian National Exhibition were able to challenge the artificial intelligence of Birdie the Brain in varying levels of difficulty, much to their delight. For its time, Birdie was a marvel of technology, something no one has seen before. Sadly, this piece of our history was dissembled at the end of exhibition, largely dismissed as no more than novelty even a fantastical one. We are back to the definition of what is a video game, a definition that Birdie the Brain doesn't quite fully meet. William Higginbottom, the man who invented video games. Although Birdie the Brain was a crucial part of gaming history, it didn't fully meet the exact definition of what a video game is. This brings us to the next major contender and the one that purists believe to be the first real video game. Fast forward 8 years into the future, to 1958, and travel to the Brookhaven National Laboratory. There, you will meet a physicist named William Higginbottom. William Higginbottom, born on October 25th, 1910, was no simple physicist. He already had an illustrious career behind him, having been a member of the team that created the first ever nuclear bomb. Not many gamers know that the man who practically invented what we today call a video game was also one of the men responsible for creating the most destructive technology this world has ever seen. It's an interesting dichotomy, to say the least, one that highlights the brilliance of this man's mind while at the same time proving that not everything in this world is simply black or white. Being a part of this team, stayed with William Higginbottom for the rest of his life and troubled him. That is probably why he became one of the founding members of the Federation of American Scientists, a group with the stated intent of using science and scientific analysis to make the world more secure. Having already been a pivotal linchpin in history, Higginbottom took up residency at Brookhaven National Laboratory in 1947, that is where he came up with Tennis for Two. Tennis for Two The World's First Video Game In October 1958, Tennis for Two, the first actual video game, was revealed to the world. It happened during an open house hosted at the Brookhaven National Laboratory. The first video game, created by William Higginbottom, turned out to be the star of the show, much to the amazement of the attendees and even Higginbottom himself. People lined up to take their turn to play tennis for two. Using a small analog computer, players could adjust two knobs and push a button, which simulated a game of tennis on oscilloscope. Essentially, this was an early version of the hit game Punk, which will come into existence 14 years later. The game took only hours to design and was a huge success. Higginbottom was delighted, as his little experiment achieved exactly what he was striving for.
living it up an otherwise dull and boring event. Hickenbottom invented video games to show that science isn't all about war and destruction.